Hello, Jeff here. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can trigger an email in HubSpot via a custom behavioral event. And we're gonna source that event uh, from the product usage data that you're already uh, storing and using in your data warehouse. In our case, it's gonna be Snowflake today. And by way of an example, imagine this situation. Imagine you have a free trial for your product and um, somebody creates an account and then let's say this is like a like a whiteboarding software like a Miro or a Canva or Whimsical or something along those lines. People can create canvases, they can share canvases. These are free features on a free plan, but adding an image and maybe downloading that from the image directly or from the internet directly into your, uh, your canvas is a paid feature. And while we're hoping that folks will, on their own, upgrade into a paid plan, maybe we want to send an upgrade email encouraging folks to, to go ahead and, and choose this paid plan after they use a paid feature like adding an image. So we're going to go ahead and set that up using HubSpot, your data warehouse, and Census in the middle to help send that information over to HubSpot and trigger the email. Let's get started. So in HubSpot, I'm gonna to need to create a automated email. So here I have just a, a regular email that can be sent to, to an audience. I'm gonna go ahead and clone this email and make it automated. And it's this, this email is basically telling the user, hey, you've done all these cool things with us. Maybe you should upgrade. So it's justifying why the user should upgrade. And uh, we're gonna send it after they've used a, a paid feature um, including, hey, we, we think that you'll like this because with our pro plan, you can use image search collaboration tools and all these other cool things. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. I need to review and publish this. Looks great. And I'm gonna need to base this off of a workflow. Um, I've already have, I already have one set up and I'll show that to you in a second. So this is send upgrade email when paid feature is used. So I will now set that up and I will also go to the workflow. So when this a user kind of, we the, when HubSpot receives a custom behavioral event for a contact where the event is at image, we want to send an email. And we need to send this through as trial usage report. Set that up. Great, and I'll go ahead and hit save. Cool, so that's good to go. Lastly, we need to send through this event for users after they actually go ahead and add an image in the product. To do that, we're gonna to need to set up a custom behavioral event in HubSpot. And I've gone ahead and done that here. This is the add image custom event. If I click through here, you'll see some examples that I've sent through in the past um, for these users. Now let's go ahead and send through another and see how this looks in, in HubSpot. I'm gonna jump into Census. And in Census, I have HubSpot connected as a destination. I have Snowflake connected as a data source. And I've gone ahead and told Census uh, which table is my user table, which table is my event table. So that way I can just very, very easily in a drag and drop or point and click manner, select the, the events I need and filter for the events I need. In this case, it's gonna be the add image event. I'm gonna create a segment that just filters down for the event that I need. So add image. I'm gonna choose, I'm, I'm looking at events here. I'm looking for events where the name is add image. You can go ahead and even see how many of these pop through, quite a few. And I can click to save the segment. Now I'm gonna go ahead and create a sync to the custom behavioral event endpoint in HubSpot. I'll go ahead and specify what's a unique value of for, for each of my events, so that way since this doesn't send the same event twice. And I'm gonna to need to pass a couple parameters here. So 
HubSpot requires in a, an internal event name uh, specified as part of the API call to, to HubSpot. So we're going to need to grab that information directly from here, which is this internal name. And I can hard code that in as part of the sync. And we're going to need to associate this to a user, for example. Contact. We're going to look that up by email. And let's give this a timestamp. Uh, what is it? Occurred at. Yep, that's where we're going to send it. And then we're going to put in a timestamp on our side. This is just the current timestamp. Great. We're going to backfill all records and run a sync. So I'm going to go ahead actually and set this sync up to run right now. Don't worry, these are all fake people, so no one's getting any emails that they didn't bargain for. Now, of course, I'm probably going to want to set this up on an ongoing basis so that folks are receiving emails when it's most relevant to them. Um, so I can go ahead in, in Census and set up a schedule by hitting Configuration and then clicking here to choose a scheduling option that makes the most sense based off of when my data is updated and how low latency I need this to be. So for example, if I need this um, hourly, I can go ahead and set that up now. While this is working, let's take a, take a look at an example contact that's being sent through um, with this custom behavioral event. So if I head to the API inspector, can click on any of these post events and click the request body. Great. Um, we can see that this has gone through. Uh, this is for object ID 5871. So let's see if we can find that contact in HubSpot. Go ahead to my list of contacts here and look for contact 5871. And here we go. We can see all the add image events that we're sending through for, for Adrian right here. And with that, Adrian will get sent an email um, in accordance asking them to go ahead and upgrade. Sending the right message to the right person at the right time. So that way it's incredibly relevant for them to decide on whether or not they, they want to opt into a paid plan.